say goodbye. Hey, I'm not that. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Mission one ac Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, every- I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the Express. Your Elo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko Which means we need to decide where our next destination- That's right. That's the path of the Nameless, I presume. Always on the road? Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the Way of the Nameless. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting... Ah, <sighs> home sweet home. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. The universe is fat. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do it. You're most welcome. So, you're be it joy or it seems you have something. Likewise. Pom Pom, we're back. Shh. Checking st good to see you too. Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star rail stability keeps rising. 56%, 57%, the numbers have stabilized. This, oh, welcome back to the Express. You've accomplished your... Thanks to you, the... as for the coach, right away, to avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express, for your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached... Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. 
Of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. Hold on. I I'll, I'll be. Th what did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a- Let's head over. You drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Morning. You're very punctual. I can't remember the lack of trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is strong. Not telling yet, the meeting will start soon. at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a Corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron Hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Foo? 
the Xianzhou Lawfu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lawfu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Lawfu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he'd perish too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March, get done hung. the galaxy and journey through space like this every day? Oh, that's so cool. No wonder everyone on the Express is so knowledgeable. Ugh, you really like a compliment, don't you? <laughs> Just kidding. That's exactly what I thought you'd say. I've yet to experience it myself, but no one in their right mind would turn down a chance to journey through space. Boarding the Express is just one small step. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to travel the depths of the universe. After all, I did promise Branya and Nat that I'd continue to protect the Underworld and help rebuild Bellobok. Still... I bet there's still a chance for kids like Hook and Clara, right? Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to represent Bellabog as it returns to the arms of the universe. Whoa, what are you doing here? Hmm. 
I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. <laughs> Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one. Four against one. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Joe. down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent... All right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hong, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case, well... Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one! Ship? It looks even bigger than Eurelo 6! For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Skyport. Our skip then. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Still the automated signal? 
Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sienjo La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Imiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot. Make sure you're properly prepared before you... Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider, and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is... Always thinking with your stomach. What about all the scenic photo opportunities? The Stellaron Hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind, and don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests, it's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Huh. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. That's Mr. Yang. This is child's play for him. He's dealt with all kinds of dangers before. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Careful. We've never seen this kind of life. 
This is our chance. Ha! Tough luck running into me. Ha! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. <laughs> Let's make it quick. My turn. The song's for you. Turn it up. Naughty nap time. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Nap Struck have been repelled, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Law Fu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now. I'll lead the way. Those monsters back there.
They were n Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please, accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your... If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? I knew it! This will be a... We just need to pass through here. Enough, but you were talking. This song's for you. Turn it up. Nap time. Let's make it quick. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it. for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion. Make it quick. Huh. Told you. 
told you I could fight. <laughs> this song's for you. Turn it up. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Nap time. You're annoying! I'm okay. <gasps> time for a shot. Reach the end of the story in their own way. Get ready and watch your backs. Leave it to me. Broken. Ready to lose your You can fight it. Or rock with it. Gonna try hard to watch this awesome move. Stay alert. My turn. <laughs> you. This song's for you. Turn it up. Nap time. Try that again. Just in time. Just a little something. Thank you. <sighs> Ready to jam. That's better. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move.
Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Gonna try hard some? Watch this awesome move! <sighs> Thanks a lot! This song's for you! Let's rock! <laughs> Much better. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Ready to lose your skin? You can fight it. Or rock with it. <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> <sighs> Ready to jam. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Okay. Go. Ha! Rules are made to be broken. Oh, finally! Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way. Oh, my cute we had a difficult start, but they don't fret. All am I was perfectly. Please take your seats, everyone. Commission, allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Uh, what was it again? Oh! Pammy Cassiter, by which I mean nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for- Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you could inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. Uh, I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Not so fast. 
I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top. No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukon will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out, or get something wrong, I just know it. What if she thinks we're with the Stellaron Hunters? Never mind the Alliance. Mm, she's right. Don't worry, we'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. 